Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. In this video, I am going to share about manufacture part number, which is MPN. In this blog, we will look about what are the uses of MPN and three request sites of MPN and what are the futures of MPN. Okay, first we will look at the definition. What was the manufacture part number? A manufacture part number is a unique alphanumeric code assigned by the manufacturer to identify a specific product or component. It is used primarily for tracking inven in inventory management supply chain operations and ordering purposes. Okay. The material type for manufacture number is HERS, which is the standard one. Okay. You go to MM01. H E R S is the manufacture part number. Okay. See, H E R S is the manufacture. Before that, go to OMS to transaction. Just observe the material type H E R S. Just go inside. See. Only there is a two views, which is purchasing and classification. And here only manufacture part will be selected. And if you want number range as an external, you click this one. Okay. So finally, HERS is the material type for manufacture part number. Okay. Now, what was the use of MPN? Okay. By using MPN, you can tell the vendor from whom you want to procure a material and which manufacturer the material is to be supplied by and the part number used by that manufacturer. This means, just imagine that you are procuring a bolt from one vendor, okay? But that vendor gets the bolt from two manufacturers, which is Genitco and Miller Prop is the two companies which are manufacturing the bolt. A vendor is got the bolt from these two companies. Okay, but we are procuring from this vendor. Okay. However, you are not satisfied with this manufacturer, Genit. Okay. You want bolts from Miller Corp. So you advise your vendor by specifying the manufacturer number and process the purchase order. I will show by the step by step and I will provide this document also in the description. Now we will look about three requisites of MPN. Okay. So first one is go to SPR O reference name.
Logistic General, Material Master, Basic Settings here, Material Master, Basic Settings, Make Global Settings, okay? Here, the manufacturer part number should be active. Okay, this is the step one. Okay, now go back and go to second step, which is okay. You have to create a material master record and different manufacturer part profile. Go to Material Management. Go to Purchasing. Here. Go to Material Master. This one. Define manufacturer part profile. Here, there is a standard one for purchase order, which is 2000. Just click this one. Make sure that this should be active. Okay. I will explain. Okay. If you click this one, it indicates that the MPN material has to be entered in purchase order. Okay. And this one for text in MPN material. This one is MPN is mandatory, which is nothing but. The MPN material has to be entered in purchase order. Okay. The next one is change in MPN. Okay. If you want to change the MPN number, then you have to select this one. It is crucial step. If you want to process the info record, for material part number, you have to tick this one, okay? And whether the step, uh, the, these steps are enough for our basic knowledge, okay? Just save. Remember, 2000 is the MPN profile. Okay, just go back. Now, just create a one draw material, okay, which is V bolt, okay, mechanical engineering. Take ROH as a raw material, just as My material is M bolt. Okay, enter, enter, select the basic view, purchasing, storage, and accounting view, SCZ1, test for MPN, EA, enter material, triple zero one, enter, In purchasing view, we have to enter MPN profile number, which is 2000. Okay. Now save, enter some size. 
the material was created which is rebolt now we are creating manufacturer part number okay for our v bolt okay we are procuring v bolt from two vendors or you can consider that as two manufacturer companies okay HERS is the manufacturing part number. are here yeah. just click enter select purchasing view okay here you have to enter description v bold you have to enter internal material number which is in our case the material internal material number is v bold okay report here you have to enter vendor manufacturer part number for example vendor assigned a manufacturer per part number like uh, uh bold underscore 301 was the manufacturing part number okay this manufacturer is just like a vendor okay for example 100852 is the manufacturer okay here you have to enter 3001 as the material group okay here mpn material number was 3380 mpn part number was bolts underscore 301 which is for that material part number the manufacturer was 100852 okay now just save the data okay 3380 3380 100852 was the vendor and mpn number was bold underscore 30 something now we will create for another mpn just click enter material description v bold same v bold Old underscore five zero one was the man two zero one was the manufacturer number one double zero six eight six was the manufacturer which is nothing but vendor okay old two not one. one double zero six eight six was the vendor. The MPN number was double three eight one. Okay. Now just save the data. Okay. Just go to change. Select purchasing. Three zero one was the. mpn number okay now 
the step was create info record for MPN number with vendor com combination. In this case, the MPN number was 3380 with vendor combination is 100852. Okay. For two MPN numbers, now we are creating a info record. Vendor combination one double zero six eight six. SJ three, SJ one. Click enter. Enter some eleven was the price. Save the info record. Now we will do for another MPN number eight zero. Here we are entering ten was the price. Save the data. Okay, now we are done with info record. Now just create a, and check how system was reacting. ME 51N. Okay, just observe the screen. The moment you enter MPN number, we will get material as V board. Okay, W double three eight zero was the MPN number. Now I am entering here double three eight zero. I want some thousand quantity. SCZ one was the plan. Enter store location. Just click enter. Now just observe the moment. I enter double three eight zero automatically it will change the material as V bold. Okay. Now just click go to source of supply and FN source of supply. Automatically system will fix the vendor based on the info record okay like this the ampere number is useful to in business scenario so now just go back and come again to same screen M E fifty one N. Okay, now go and check double three eight one. One. The moment I click enter, automatically system will give V bolts as a material number. Now click SN source supply. Based on the info record, system will fix the vendor. If you want this, just save the PO. Now and the remaining process was same. Okay. Once again. Thanks for watching my video. Please like my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you all.